you can't even make this up. This is the most ridiculous thing in the world. Remember when Justin Trudeau was on the floor of the Canadian Parliament and he was talking about the Nazis? He was kind of the truckers. The truckers are Trevor, the Nazis. Yeah. They saw one Nazi flag. They went crazy. Yeah, by the way, that was and all of them were Nazis. I doubt. I doubt that that was not someone who was a plant. And then I watched Trevor Noah go. If there's even one Nazi flag, the whole trucker march is Nazis. If there's even one. one. What? So they, the deep state or the government can plant one there and ruin the whole thing. That is so stupid. I can't even believe this is real. This is appalling. A 98-year-old Ukrainian-Canadian who fought for Ukrainian independence against the Russians in the Second World War. This man fought for Hitler's Nazi German. They brought him to the parliament and like a bunch of idiots there, like seals. The or, 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 standing ovation twice. Do dude. you have the video? Oh, I Zelensky's speech. speech received at least a dozen standing ovations. There was also one for this man, a 98-year-old Ukrainian-Canadian who fought for did? Ukrainian independence against the Russians during the Second World War. Look at him holding back from a sig heil. First he like wipes his head like, Ugh. Zelensky joins Canadian Parliament ovation to a 98-year-old veteran who fought with the Nazis. <laughs> you you can't make this up, dude. You cannot okay, make this you, up. Are you showing a video where the guy says he fought they fought against Russia in World War II that where they actually says it? No, I did not have that video ready. Okay. Today. So all of these idiots yeah. you always heard a cattle and they are mooing together. My girlfriend goes, she picked it out before I even so she goes, Wait, did he just say he fought they fought against Russia in World War II? Yeah. And she went to Florida public schools in Jacksonville. Yeah. And it occurred to her. Their entire, I think there's one guy, <laughs> I think there's one guy, I don't know if he clapped at the time or if he at least didn't clap, but one guy was like, hey, what the hell was that? Yeah. I don't know which Canadian guy, was. he had a kind of foreign sounding accent, so it must be somebody who knows all about what happened. Yeah. And, uh, but the second you hear fought against Russia in World War II, are you that dumb? You should be walking out of the parliament. You're like, uh, oh, no way. I ain't dealing with this shit. Like, no you, way. You, there's nobody started clapping up. What did he say? Like, there's no, yeah. I, I love to see footage of someone going like, what's happening? <laughs> the Canadian Parliament gave a standing ovation on Friday to a 98-year-old immigrant from Ukraine who fought in the Third Reich military formation accused so of war is crimes. is he a fugitive? He, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, wait, hold on because <laughs> that unit is guilty of war crimes. Uh, and then I don't. Then he's but it's different and, now. We now they're the good guys. Now they're fighting clip? the is Russians. He an Operation Paperclip. Maybe he was the. I mean, I think I, they just let him in. For, I heard a lot of Can Canadians. I heard in Canada they took on a lot of those Nazis and Paperclip that went over to Canada too as well. The elderly veteran uh, Yaroslav Hunka was honored during a session in which President Volodymyr Greenscreen Zelensky of Ukraine addressed the lawmakers to thank them for their support since Russia invaded his country, saying Canada has always been on the bright side of history. Oh, I need a t-shirt of the bright side of history. The, with, with that guy's face right in the... <laughs> the Speaker of the House of Commons, Anthony Roda, who had compared Zelensky to Winston Churchill again with this bullshit... No, he's not. Even though Winston Churchill is still blown up too Winston high Winston Churchill great. also hated darker skin colors. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He recognized a veteran from the Second World War who fought for Ukraine independence against the Russians and continues to support the troops today, even at the age of 98. Oh my God. The AP caption described Hunka as having fought with the 1st Ukrainian Division in World War II before later immigrating to Canada. The 1st Ukrainian Division is another name for the 14th Waffen <laughs> Grenadier. <laughs> when you hear Waffen in the title, it doesn't... Division <laughs> of the SS, the military wing of the Nazi Party. The unit was also called SS Galinchina. Hey, or Galinchina. Galish, Galishna. Galishna. You know, I got a friend of mine who says, call me out. I'll help you sound out the words. I'm like, you will do that, but I'll forget when uh, when we uh, go live. Formed in 1943, SS... Galishna? I think Galachina or Galishina. I'll say Galachina with you. Galishina, 
was composed of recruits from the Galatia region in western Ukraine. The unit was armed and trained by the Nazis and commanded by German officers. In 1944, the division was visited by SS head Heinrich Himmler, who spoke of the soldiers' willingness to slaughter the Poles. Wait, hold on. They, they... slaughtered more Polish freaking Jews Wait. than any division no, out I know. there. Were, weren't they the ones... Hold on, am I wrong? Weren't they the ones that their massacre was so bad that Himmler got really upset about it, and that's why they started using that Zyklone B, because the like the ammunition, he was like horrified? Because they I went too to far. God. I think. I think is that Galicia? I think it's. I think you are correct there, but I'm not sure. Wow. You know, I, I, I really. About... I believe that they even said that this division was going way too far in what they no, did. No, I to think the they're famous. So I know more about uh, this this hero of Canada than, uh, than the Canadian <laughs> Parliament. <Justin Trudeau. laughs> than the Canadian Parliament. I mean, the fact is that you just, really to tell you the truth. I mean, you even said your girl picked it up. That she says, "Wait a second, in World War II? Yeah, it's like. That shit, like, pause. Like, Even a Florida wait public a second. school person Who are we knows? clapping for? Three months earlier, the SS Galashina subunits uh, perpetrated what is known as the Hutta Pajniaka Massacre, burning 500 to 1,000 Polish villagers alive. So this, yeah, is, the, this know, is the one. I had just been seeing all these. Um, there's, like, a couple of channels that I bet you are on the side of Ukraine in their current reporting, but they were talking about historical atrocities. Yeah. And I've seen this whole story before. That's really something. It's quite a turnaround to whitewash, to like, well, I don't want to say, I'll say brightwash yeah. <laughs> the Ukraine past to that degree that people that run channels that just were reporting on this a couple years ago forgot all about it until now. now. Dude, like you, you're right, you know. And a lot of people think that Zelensky's on his way out, that he's not going to be able to handle what's going on. He's having too many problems with the Azov battalion on that wing. What? He can't get anything done. I knew them. So having another a move. President would be a mistake. But, <laughs> yeah, but here's the here's the here's the move, Kurt. What people are saying, they're going to bring back Poroshenko. But Poroshenko is always seen wearing SS freaking like patches or Nazi patches is on his arm. So it's like, but you know, people are so dumb to this. Do you whatnot. think Sitchin Adam know about this? Look. <laughs> Putin hates the LGBT community, and that is so stuck in so many got people's minds, leftist minds, that they're going along with this shit. Like I've heard people talking about Putin being the most evil thing Dude, in the world, I like. but yet they're sitting there and standing up and applauding for actual fucking Dude, Nazis. I remember somebody I like who's not, but, but this is a really dumb thing to say. But like, they were aware of that. You know, nobody said all the Ukrainians are Nazis. No one said that. Although all Nazis do support Ukraine if yeah. you're a Nazi. But they're like, well, they were fighting against the communists. When you, if you were fighting the communists, when you fight with them, no, it's I'd ridiculous. probably sneak into someone else's country at that point. Yeah, because it's the battle of commies versus Nazis. He, I think all is lost. So listen, the United States has a history of being able to fund the craziest radicals of all radicals, right? The Mujahideen in Afghanistan, yeah. who did some crazy. This is another uh, Rambo. Oh, well, we need to make a Rambo. Four or five? No, we thought four, four was a good one. No, uh, another Rambo in Ukraine. Yes, oh. where he fights with Azov. Dude, I got to <laughs> tell you something. Uh, uh, they're brave fighters. So you want, look, I, I'm a New York Jet fan, but I've kind of put football to the side as I've gotten deeper into my work and been doing this for quite some time. But this year we had Aaron Rodgers and it was some excitement <sighs> coming back. And you know how I feel about Aaron Rodgers and what he's Kyle, done. How do you feel? Well, you know, I think he stood up and took one for the team. Him and people like, um, what's the basketball player, my favorite guy over there who really took one for the team? Um the guy used to play for the Cavaliers. I know anything about sports. Do you know who I'm talking about? Oh, my God. I can't believe his name. Everybody's, like, screaming it right now. I bet you it's on that that screen. Uh, but, you know, he was one of those people who, you know, they hated him. They said he Kyrie lied. Kyrie Irving? Kyrie Irving. So it's these him? guys. He was Kyrie Irving. I so support Ky his flat earth stance. I think and it's And Djokovic, hilarious. another one. Kyrie Irving, Djokovic. I know the joke you're talking about. Kyrie Irving, Djokovic, Aaron Rodgers. So Aaron Rodgers coming to the Jets was awesome. But he's been hurt for the whole year because he the first series of whatever he tours at Achilles end uh, is his, his Achilles tendon. So here I am. I'm gonna like peek at the Jets game. You know what they were doing? They had freaking Ukrainian flags on the back of their helmet. Oh my All god. All of them. And then in the end zone, they had Ukrainian flags. And then it was one Pfizer commercial after the other. I'm like, this is disgusting. What am I doing? I'm they're, out. They're like, I'm out again. They're like NASCARs, you know? Like, they had breast cancer on their helmets before. And, uh, you know, whatever the thing is, they're going to put it right on them like cars. So let's read this right over here, here, because this is something you just talked about. During the Nuremberg trials, the International Military Tribunal declared 
the Waffen SS to be a criminal organization responsible for mass atrocities, including the persecution and extermination of the Jews. But yet he's there with Zelensky. Brutalities and killings in concentration camps, excesses in the administration of occupied territories, the administration of the slave labor program, and mistreatment and murder of prisoners. After the war, thousands of SS Galicina or Galicina veterans were allowed to resettle <laughs> in the West, around 2,000 of them in Canada. What? By then, the unit was universally known as the 1st Ukrainian Division. Okay. It is unclear whether Zelensky knew that Hunka fought with that unit. I'm sure he is it, well, well, We're not gonna. We're not going to look if, at the guy? Okay, if, wait, wait, wait. If Zelensky, we're not going to scan the guy? If Zelensky, Slovo, Ukraine. You're going to vet the guy? No, he doesn't have to vet him. He knows what he is. He doesn't know. He knows. I know, right? He's he doesn't from know. There. He exactly. knows. He doesn't know. Zelensky is the biggest but sellout piece of the crap. They're trying to blame the, uh, the speaker. They're trying to blame it on the speaker, but Trudeau obviously knew. Yeah. In 2021, the Ukrainian president joined the governments of Israel and Germany in denouncing a march honoring SS Galashina in hey, Kiev. In the words Kiev. of Justin Trudeau, there's good people on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> that was Trump, right? He said that. <laughs> Not about Nazis. Trump said, no, Nazis should be condemned. So this is what is next for Canada in this debacle. An apology is owed to every Holocaust survivor and veteran of the Second World War who fought the Nazis. And an explanation must be provided as how this individual entered the hallowed halls of the Canadian Parliament and received recognition from the Speaker of the House and a standing ovation, not once, but twice. Wow. And uh, also, how he got to Canada in the first place as an international war criminal. It's no, really no, like, that's Operation Paperclip. There was no, 2,000 of them. Yeah, it was settled there. Wait, wait, wait. wait. That that's, was legal. That's not Canada's operation. That's our operation, isn't it? It was the West. Because a lot of them, it was like the Nazi draft. Some went to Great Britain. Some went to France. Some went to England. Some went to, well, that's Great Britain, excuse me, some went to the United States, some went to Canada. I hope it's Operation Paperclip and mm. not a different adopt-a-Nazi program that they had. Can we look at his fist really quick? Just Where? Just because Zelensky's fist. Oh! He's so excited. Ah! <laughs> Zelensky knows. Yeah. Oh, you. <laughs> you know what right there would be the best if they just put, started playing that song? You're the best <laughs> around. Nothing's going to ever keep but, you down. Dude, look at them on the brighter side of history. There they are. Look at this. Look Smiling, clapping, of, Trudeau. His, it is beyond outrageous yeah. that Parliament honored a former member of the Nazi unit saying Ukrainian ultra naturalist ideologues who volunteered for the Galatia Division dreamed of an ethnically homogenous Ukrainian state and endorsed the idea of ethnic cleansing. Hey, where's on the ADL to weigh in on this? Short... Uh, the, uh, somebody get the ADL on the horn. The ADL said there's no problem. I genuinely never expect an English-speaking country parliament to give a standing ovation to a one-time member of the SS. Nothing surprises me Did anymore. you not see John Stewart give that medal? Oh, no. I know, right, dude. This is this is still. Um, wait, did you not know we armed a asshole? What do you mean? It, it you was a medal a... at with a tattoo at Disneyland. Wait, do you not watch all the cut, the videos where somebody's Nazi tattoo keeps slipping out, and then somebody <laughs> goes, "This is Putin lying," and then another video comes with another Nazi tattoo. No, you don't see any of that. No. It's more of the same over here. We're gonna wait, move wait, on wait, oh. expeditiously. Well, what did he say about him? I well, I mean, he just this is Simon Ateba. We, this guy's getting a lot of play. I oh, like okay. Simon. We got to call him, get him on the show. Uh, the vel the villain uh, lived long enough to become a hero. I mean, okay. that's what it is. Like all these hill these all these villains, all the people who are bad are now good. And this is something that was said a long time ago. That in the future, you're going to see the West supporting Nazis during the war. And it's it's the truth. That's what we're doing. That's what we become. Well, we we we're so propagandized that the mainstream media, along with the fucking government, go along and convince you that the Nazis are the good guys now because but Putin. It was but Trump. Now it's but Putin. Ridiculous. Max Blumenthal, here's what the BBC reported Canada's parliament giving a standing ovation to Ukrainian who fought for Hitler during the Holocaust, yeah, the Holocaust of bullets. Of, that's when they got, Himmler got so horrified mm -hmm. that they, that's when Zyklon B, they're like, there's got to be a better way than this because this was such an atrocity, the Holocaust of bullets. I, I'm pretty sure that's what their story is. Yeah. So, so a crime that shocked Himmler, huh. that guy lives in Canada. He, to was, the he was shocked, Himmler. And he's, dude, do you see him? He's touch his head and it, uh, it goes like, 
Like he just like Doctor Strangelove, he had yeah. to hold his like thing down. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that they didn't say, "Oh, we have to take all this down." Like the the social media giants like YouTube and all them, like, "Oh, we have to take them down because it's bad." And like as a reverse to try to cover the whole situation during the by t- making uh, themselves look good during the Tiki Torch times. Yeah, when everybody's pulling all the statues down. That was one of the statues. I think it's probably like Bandera or something. Because, you know, they get... Stefan? Could, yeah. Somebody like, oh, because he was a Nazi. And there were people trying to make excuses for that one back then. But Thomas Jefferson can't catch a break. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are, some more pictures here. The Speaker of Canadian's Parliament is now apologized for inviting Ukrainian veterans. This is Trudeau. No such... Uh, Contrition from the Canadian militaries yeah. for training the neo-Nazi Azov Battalion because that would short-circuit Ottawa's entire policy on Ukraine. So you got to go along with it. The fact is, and this is something they brought up. People were pushing back on the fact is, why is the Canadian military training Azov Battalion members? Same thing we, we brought in. Uh, we outsourced it to them? Blackwater. Yeah, we outsourced the Blackwater, and and that's something that Poroshenko even bragged about is that there was a NATO base in uh Western Ukraine. He yeah. bragged about it. And that's where they were training soldiers and sh- training troop- troops. This is where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. We're now applauding Nazis. Well, I mean... We're applauding Nazis. Wait, wait. Is that part Actual of it? Nazis. Actual what, Nazis. Is this pictures of applause? No, this is photos from the deleted oh, pages of Azov's really website. confused me. This is an Azov, you know what I'm saying? Well, I was talking about this. But you pointed at the picture Apologize of them not for clapping. Him. Um... Well, the thing that's amazing is, why is one guy apologizing? Every moron in the parliament who all heard the same phrase, fought against Russia in World War II, you all heard that. Also, you all heard about this Nazi... There's no way you didn't. Yeah. So you all applauded it, and one guy is at fault, because he didn't vet the war criminal they've been sheltering for 98 years. Well, no, I'm gonna no, love it when I'm gonna love it when they get rid of uh, uh, Zelensky to bring back Poroshenko. So they're gonna bring back the other Nazi lover to support. You know, what I'm saying I don't think Zelensky loves him. I think he'll just deal with it. You know, for that. I don't think he loves him either. But I'm saying Poroshenko does. This body language. But here's the thing. Oh, you. That's what he was doing. He made a deal with the devil. Yeah. He made a deal with these Azov idiots, and they control him. You know, because Zelensky is a completely controlled. Man, there's nothing he can do. The only way out of the only way Zelensky's going to end up alive is he, he makes a deal with Putin and, and stays in Russia, like Snowden, where they can be protected. Because other than that, he's going to hit a dead end, and they're going to either eliminate him, get rid of him, play it's, him it, off as a patsy, and that's what I think they're going to do next. The role of a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still am rooting. I just think it would look so funny to see a dumb face on TV if they just scapegoat all the crimes of America on Janet Yellen. There you I mean, go. We caught the person behind it. The well, whole, it she's, was, she's the only person right now that's older than that dude who stood up. Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Tampa, Boca Raton, Orlando, Dallas, <clears throat> Houston, San Diego, Bloomington, Illinois, Indianapolis, and Levittown, New York. Wow, that's a lot of dates. See you there. <laughs>